Hello and welcome to the uh, what I believe is ordinary price discrimination. I don't remember the uh, names of these anymore, but it would uh, behoove you to learn them. Um, basically, this is the type of price discrimination where I'm able to segment the market and charge a different price to different consumers who have different demands. So in this case, um, this is one of my favorite infomercials for pajama jeans. Uh, no more muffin tops, no more awkward panty showing or whatever it goes on. Um, if you haven't seen the infomercial, watch it. It's probably the greatest product ever invented. I kind of threaten my girlfriend with getting her a pair every time she doesn't tell me what she wants for her birthday. Um, anyways, I've had fun with these. So now they're a question on this tutorial. Um, they have a patent for 15 years, so they're a monopoly, and they're asking you to help price them. Um, they've received rave reviews among Disney Channel watchers whose demand is QD equals 280 minus 2P. And they've received a somewhat lukewarm reception among readers of Us Weekly, whose demand is Q U equals 140 minus 2P. So already you've got the market segmented into Disney Channel watchers and Us Weekly readers. Um, assuming that they are able to discriminate by using TV infomercials on Disney Channel and mailing orders in Us Weekly, what quantity and price will they sell to Disney Channel and Disney Channel subscribers? And what quantity? and price will they sell to Us Weekly readers, and we're assuming that their cost of production is one-tenth Q squared. So yeah, go ahead and solve this problem for both quantities, both prices, and I will do the answer in a second. Okay, so I've written down the salient details of the question. Um, it helps to know the optimality condition is that marginal revenue from market segment I equals mar marginal revenue from market segment J equals marginal cost for all I and J. Okay, so fancy way of saying that the marginal revenue from each segment must be the same and it must be equal to marginal cost. Of course, if your marginal revenue from one um, section of the market was higher than the other, then you would move some quantity from the one section to the other section um, and until those were equal. Okay, so well how are we going to do that? Well to start off with it looks like we need marginal cost so let's take that so marginal cost is 1 over 5q Okay. And it looks like we need marginal revenue from Us Weekly and marginal revenue from Disney. So let's do that. So uh, Q Disney equals 280 minus 2P. And let's put in subscripts for the price because they're not the same. I'll go through and do that in the original things too. So P D. 40 minus one half Q D. <coughs> so then total revenue from Disney is 140 Q minus one half Q D squared, right? So it's just exactly like doing a regular monopoly problem. I multiply price times quantity, and then to find marginal revenue, I take that derivative. Okay, so the marginal revenue for Disney is 140 minus the quantity from Disney. Okay, let's do the same thing for Us Weekly. Okay, and then total revenue from Us Weekly is 70 QU minus 1 half QU squared. Marginal revenue from Us Weekly is 70 minus QU. Okay, so now my marginal cost, right, is 1 over 5 Q, uh, but Q is composed of U and QD. Okay, 
So I have a condition that says that the marginal revenues have to be equal. Okay, so let's set these marginal revenues equal to each other. Okay, and this I can solve for, this is MRD equal MRU. Okay, so this I can solve for QU in terms of QD. Okay, so if I subtract the 70 from that side, I will in fact get that QD minus 70 equals QU. Okay, so I have this relationship for QU or QU in terms of QD, however you want to play it. Let's plug that into this marginal cost function. So we have marginal cost only in terms of QD. So MC equals 1 over 5. Uh, QD plus, but instead of QU, I'm going to put QD minus 70. Okay, so MC equals 2 over 5 QD minus, it's not 35, minus 14, 70 over 5, right? Yep. Okay, so now I have marginal cost in terms of a quantity for Disney, right? So marginal cost has to equal marginal revenue from Disney and that will actually be able to give me a numerical solution right for quantity from Disney so the marginal cost the one we've rearranged equals MR from Disney so 2 over 5 Q Disney minus 14 equals 140 minus QD Okay, so 7 over 5 QD equals 154, QD equals 154 times 7, QD equals 110. Okay, so we're almost, we're almost home. Right, so quantity from Disney equals 110. We have this expression here. QU in terms of QD. So if I know that QD is 110, then QU must be 40. Okay, because QU equals QD minus 70. Now all I need are prices. So I can take this quantity of Disney back into the um, Disney demand function that is 140 minus 1 half QD. So PD equals 140 minus 1 over 2 QD equals 95. And I got an email. And PU equals 70 minus 1 half QU equals, and if QU is 40, then 70 minus 20 is 50. Okay, so that is how you solve this type of problem. And I'm just checking to make sure that my one answer is correct because I did them in my head. And it's not. This is 85. Some of you may have caught me. Um, luckily, I caught myself before I posted this. Um, I do make arithmetic errors sometimes. It does happen. Um, so hopefully you'll forgive me. And that is how to solve a ordinary price discrimination. Again, check and make sure that that's what this is. Uh, the names change. When I learned it, this was called uh, first degree price, price discrimination as opposed to perfect price discrimination or second degree price discrimination. I still don't remember what any of those are. I just know how to do the problems. So anyways, that is all for this.